Howdy doody, everybody. My name is Kev Gooey, and welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. In the last episode, we had our first time together with Miko. And then I think we left. The days seem to spill into each other. School has become something I just tolerate because I have to. And because my girlfriends want me to do well. There's actually something to look forward to every day. My two girlfriends. Hiromi and Miko have been better than ever too. I think that their own burdens were weighing heavily on them. And I helped them relieve that burden. Ever since we talked about it, I think they've been happier. They started waiting at the front of my apartment. If I'm late, they start yelling and bashing the door. That's very scary. As I open the door, both of them stare at me with fury in their eyes. About time you got out of bed. It's time to go, Kata. Hmm. I actually want to see what the reaction is with five more minutes. Five, five more minutes. Just let me go. Nope, you're coming along right now. They drag me out of my home and make me march through the apartment complex. Oh, that's what happens. <laughs> anyway, now that you're awake, we need to talk. The cultural festival is on soon, Keda. Are you excited? I, I didn't know there was a cultural festival. I know I am. Cultural festival? Festival? Yeah, see, I didn't know about it. I didn't know it was on. Hiromi forces her face into her palm. How could you not know that it was on? People have been talking about it for weeks. They have. All I cared about was swimming. Do you ever listen to anyone? Not to teachers or other students. I guess I don't. Recalling all the other schools I've been in, I don't remember going to a cultural festival. Hmm. Why that's the case, I don't know. Maybe because you weren't paying attention. Or didn't care. What are you looking so blooming for, Kata? It's nothing. Don't worry about me. I already know that it's not nothing. You get that look on your face when you're thinking about something unhappy. Aww. Thanks, Miko, for, for knowing. Hmm. She knows me better than I thought. Yeah. She's right, you know. You always get a very distinct look when you do that to yourself. Really, I'm fine. You don't need to worry about me. Fine, then. Anyway, don't you get gloomy. There's lots of fun things to do at the cultural festival. Ooh, I'm super excited. All of the cheap snack foods that I'm never allowed at home. Oh, I love snack food. They're the best. Because they're snacks. And they're food. I'm going to be able to eat all of them. She's drifting off into some kind of dream world as she thinks about it. So delicious. So forbidden. I can barely contain myself. I need to have it now. Calm down. You shouldn't eat too much, you know. You wouldn't want to get fat and let all of your training go to waste. Who are you calling fat, Hiromi? Uh oh, that, oh, that, this isn't good. You're the one who has more fat than me. Guys don't like too much fat. They prefer things to be smaller. I, I mean, you, you two look, fan, you two look fantastic. There's nothing wrong with your bodies. Well, I mean, I already saw Miko's body and everything. You are just jealous that mine are heavier than yours. Uh oh. I don't know what you're talking about. Both of them let out a heavy sigh. Forget I said anything. But Kata, do you prefer bigger or smaller? Bigger or smaller what? Uh, food? I like lots of food. I'm bigger. Just answer the question, bigger or smaller? Wow. 
people are naturally inclined to think that bigger everything is better. Yeah, that's that's pretty much like that quote, I guess, quote unquote quote. Their bigger is better. Bigger buildings, bigger meals, bigger homes, bigger cars. Oh, yeah. I never thought bigger things were better. Not that I don't like bigger things, but you can appreciate the smaller things too. Are you better off having a meal so big that you can't finish it? Well, when I say a big meal, okay, that I meant like a big meal that I can finish, or a meal which is just big enough to satisfy your hunger. Both of these things are perfectly good in their own ways. Well, that's a good way to kind of dodge the question, Kada. You don't have to pick one or another. Both of them look at me with shock. So, you like both kinds? Yeah, why wouldn't I? Sometimes I like a big meal that I can't finish. Other times I like a meal that's just the right size for me. Just the right size for you. There is a dazed look in their eyes. Oh, are they comparing to, to what the same size or right size would be? It's as if they can't handle what I just said. You, you are such a pervert. You don't discriminate at all, do you? Wait, why are you calling me a pervert? We did the naughty naughty in the training room. I don't understand why I'm perverted. Come on, you know exactly what we're talking about. How else could your commentary be so accurate? Yeah, I can see through your ruse quite clearly. I still don't know what we're talking about. Really, I don't. Huh? Maybe Kata's just oblivious to some things. Just forget it, then. What are you doing for the cultural festival? I haven't thought about it because I just found out like two seconds ago. I was thinking about staying home. Staying home? I see an irritated twitch in Hiromi's eyebrow. Oh, that's not good. A twitch is never good. It's not long before Miko speaks up. You're seriously going to waste the cultural festival and stay home? Well, yeah, that was the plan. No, that's not going to happen. You're going to come to the cultural festival. If you don't, I'll knock down the apartment door if I have to. And I'll drag you to the cultural festival by your leg. By my leg? Wouldn't that be painful? You're a big guy, you can take it. I probably can't, actually. Human beings are fragile creatures, I'm no exception. Uh-huh. Okay, Keda. Then you better come to the cultural festival, or I'll be really angry with you. I can't argue with that. Somehow, I think that they're completely serious about dragging me by the leg to the cultural festival. Well, yeah, because they both want to go, Keda. Alright, I'll go to the cultural festival. Else, I will be dragged by my leg and have my face scrape across the ground. Good, I'd hate you for you to waste it. Same, we're going to have- uh, We're going to all have so much fun together. They both look really happy with the news. What do you think we should go see first? Pandas! I don't know what attractions they're having this year. We'll just have to see what we can find on the day. I think so. There will always be some things we can't find, at least. Should the swimming club do something for the cultural festival? Oh... We've been training so hard that we completely forgot about it. Hmm... That sounds like a good idea. She looks really embarrassed by the situation. I guess it's too late to do something now. Hang on, I have an idea. She pulls Miko closer to her and begins whispering in her ear. I have no idea what these two could be planning. Judging by the expression on Miko's face, she's not wildly comfortable with the plan. Hmm. What? We're really going to do that? Yes, we're going to do that. But, but, that's so embarrassing. What? What is? But, I think he'd like it. Like what? Don't you? Well, I guess if I did it right... I'm actually confused right now. I could make myself look really cute. Oh, now I got it. She's delib 
creating the plan with herself. But, but if we got caught, no one's going to be anywhere near the pool on that day. Oh. Hmm. Especially since we won't be doing anything for the cultural festival. But this plan, so embarrassing. Poor Miko, looks like she's about to faint. You don't have to if you don't want to. But, but you're going to do it too. There's no way I'm backing down. Well, me, may the best one win then. I will win, you'll see. It'll be even cuter than yours. What will be even cuter? But don't listen in. It's supposed to be a surprise. Raising an accusing finger, Miko pointed directly in Hiromi's face. I'll take you on, Hiromi. Responding as she always does, Hiromi keeps her calm expression and gently pushes Miko's finger out of the way. I look forward to it. Another thing to remember is that exams will be on soon. Will you be ready for that, Keita? We can always help you study if you need it. I think I'll be fine. Hmm, cause uh, things might get really sexual with um, the study sessions, since we're girlfriend and boyfriend now. Alright, we've got something special for you waiting at the cultural festival, but try not to get distracted. Once again, I know nothing about what they're planning. I guess I'm going to find out sooner or later. So the best thing would be to just roll with it and see what happens. Hmm. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Sakura Swim Club and their surprise for me at the cultural festival. Can't wait for that. So everyone, if you guys enjoyed it, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!